While AI continues to write code for us, I am going to explain for you guys exactly how to create a blockchain game using AI with no coding experience. The power of artificial intelligence blows my mind more and more every day. And when I realized I could actually do this, Oh my gosh, let's just say I've had many existential crises in a row, but we can't let ourselves get scared or overwhelmed by AI. We need to use the next couple of years while we're still a little bit smarter to try and get AI to do as much for us and increase our productivity as we can. So without further ado, uh, if this sounds good, you remember to drop a big thumbs up, hit subscribe if you have not subscribed already. Uh, let's get into it. Really quickly so that you guys understand the power of ChatGPT, look and see how it made a game from scratch, both designed it and coded it, and it worked. Give me a super detailed description of an action game that can be coded in 150 lines or less. It's called Orbital Strike. So now let's get it to actually write the code for us. This is just showing you guys, like, if this doesn't blow your mind right here, <laughs> then I don't know what will blow your mind. We are going to try and run this game and see what an AI just created for us. Oh, here we go. We're in the game. Oh my gosh. I'm clicking to shoot. I'm aiming with my mouse. This is freaking epic. It's giving me scores when I kill these. Oh, I just lost a life, actually. Oh my god. Yo! Oh. Can I get this guy? Yes! Now that you guys' minds have probably been blown, let's go specifically into the topic of this video. So the very first thing that I asked GPT-4 was, are you able to code a game that can write simple smart contracts, sign wallets, and interact with blockchains like Ethereum? If you can, explain the steps that would be necessary to create a simple Pong game requiring an NFT to play that must be wagered through a smart contract to enter a game with the winner automatically getting the other player's NFT. So essentially I'm asking it, create a step-by-step -step guide for me, exactly what I need to do. Walk me through it like a baby on how to create a very simple game. Cause we're going to start simple where in order to play, you have to have an NFT, um, which hopefully has been given away to everyone for free. You have to have an NFT and then you play and whoever wins because you entered a smart contract to play gets the other person's NFT, just a straight uh, winner takes all simple style game. And this is what it said. It said, okay, well, this is what you're gonna have to do. First, learn the basics. All right, I got that down. If you guys don't know the basics, you can watch through my whole video library. Uh, but honestly, you can probably even skip this because it's gonna walk you through everything. You don't really need to know anything. Then it says, set up a development environment, which it can do for us completely. Create an NFT smart contract, which it can do for us completely. Create the wagering smart contract, once again, which it can do for us, deploy the uh, deploy the smart contracts. This is where it starts to get a little bit more interesting. Compile and deploy uh, deploy the smart contracts to a local test blockchain, uh, which it has already uh, helped us to download and walk it through with us step by step. Build the pong game. You guys already know it can do this. It can design it and code it. Connect the game uh, with the blockchain. So this is going to require us to implement the front end code to interact with the Ethereum blockchain. This should include functions to authenticate users, query the NFTs, deposit NFTs into the wagering smart contract and withdraw the winning. So once again, it already knows everything it needs to do and will do this for us. Um, and then also we have, uh, I have to create a user interface for wallet interaction, test the game, deploy the game, and then finally promote the game. But there you guys go. And like literally, if you remove some of these pointless ones, like maybe promoting the game and learning the basics here, uh, this is a nine step process to create an NFT game. Uh, absolutely crazy. Imagine that this existed, if AI existed during the last crypto bull market, how many more crappy crypto games we've had? If you guys are watching this, please use the power that I am giving you in this video to create high quality projects, please. And also let's change blockchain gaming, the whole idea of it and give away all of the stuff that players own for free. Okay. Let's do that as well. Um, cause, cause we really need to change what people think when they think of a game connected to the blockchain, real ownership should not be uh, associated with scam, but right now it is, which is really, really sad. So I told it step one complete, uh, which is like, I know the basics. So for step two, please give me a complete list of required applications I need to install. So it gave me this list here, uh, which was super nice. I said, great. Now let's set up our full development environment, which is what step two was. And here we go. Literally walks us through this, sets it up for us. 
and it's literally telling us like create this file put this file inside create this it's like literally step by step it's not complicated at all you're mostly just copying and pasting stuff that's literally it i promise it's, it's absolutely crazy um and then we're here so now i'm like great now let's create the nft smart contract right a smart contract using Sol uh, solidity which is this is literally its command it's it's part just pasted back to it and it said okay yeah here here you go so create a new file named pong token dot soul inside the contracts folder of your truffle project which is what it walked us through creating here uh step by step just like it's doing here and it says first create a file name okay and then paste the following code once again it's writing everything for us you don't need to know how to code <laughs> you don't even really need to know how the blockchain works or how ethereum works because it understands how it works completely as an expert um, and it will perfectly write the contracts to interact. And if you get any errors, it's also going to error solve for you. Um, and then it says this contract is using the open Zeppelin contracts library, which provides pre-built tested and secure implementation of common token standards, including ERC 721. Make sure to install. And here we go. It's giving us more just easy steps to follow. And then it says, once you've created the NFT smart contract, proceed with writing the wagering smart contract uh, and building the Pong game. So now literally I can say, please write the wagering smart contract for this game. And just to be safe, I'm going to say, write the complete uh, wagering smart contract for this game. And here we go. Here's the simple example of a wagering smart contract for the Pong game that interacts with the previously created Pong token NFT contract. This is like, this, if this doesn't blow your mind, guys. I don't know what will blow your mind. Like, this is just absolutely wild stuff. Um, and here it goes. It's just going to continue creating this game for us. Um, and yeah, we can literally just continue going like this. Um, we are limited to 25 prompts per three hours. Um, but we could probably, in a day, I don't know, create three or four different crypto games. Literally, new original crypto games in a day uh with a couple uh gpt4 premium accounts um that it i mean guys it, if you can't clearly see that my mind is blown here um and if your minds aren't blown then yeah i don't i don't know what would have to happen it's like we literally all those marvel movies that we love watching superheroes we have been given superhero powers the reason why game developers are pissed off and coders are pissed off is because now everyday people like you and me can do the exact same thing, create the exact same software that only coders used to be able to make. I feel like the amount of software written, the number of smart contracts written, just the, the number of, of games created is about to go up by an order of magnitude maybe multiple orders of magnitude that means a 10x increase or a 100x increase because now everyone can do this stuff so here we go the wagering smart contract for the palm pong game interacts with the previously created pong nft contract the contract allows players to deposit to deposit their tokens the contract owner to create matches between tokens and the contract owner to end matches and determine the winner and loser the contract uses enumerable set from the open Zeppelin contracts library to store the deposited tokens for each player. And there you go. It looks like it got cut off here. So if that happens, we can just say complete and it will continue. The end match function allows the contract owner to end the match and transfer the user's token to the winner. So um, if I was actually now going to like continue working with this and make this a complete game, um, I might uh, just confirm with it here after it's done writing this um, that this is going to be done automatically um, and that the game is going to be able to interact with this like be what's controlling this contract and uh, like do the necessary things to make the contract like so when someone actually wins or loses the game the game should have the function to literally uh, say this person won and then have the smart contract do what it's going to do um, and yeah I'm sure that's something that this GPT-4 can do for us so um, I, I'm not going to continue going here, but I think I made my point. Um, this is just absolutely wild. Um, I'm probably going to spend this weekend actually making a crypto game and then maybe just like show it off to you guys. Uh, I think that would be a pretty sweet video. So if you guys enjoyed this one um, and want to see where this goes, remember to hit subscribe, hit thumbs up and have fun making your own games, uh, your own whatever you want. I mean, you can make DAO smart content. You, you can code anything. The 
the world is at your fingertips, and I'll see you guys in the next one.